and my spirit rejoices in God my Savior. Luke chapter 1 verses 47. Hello beautiful family. Happy happy holidays. This holiday season is definitely not going to be the same without a good chicken light soup this is absolutely heartwarming and so 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 cozy to have during this period please stay with me as i show you how to make the best chicken light soup you could ever have let's go So here the ingredients are very quite few. You need your chicken and I'm using the hen, okay? The hard chicken. In Ghana, you need your ifiakoko number one. <laughs> As you can see the legs were being attached to the neck and that is the Ghanaian authentic way to make your holiday chicken light soup and so nothing goes to wait i have the giblets also representing i have some vegetables to go with it i have some zucchini carrots some red bell peppers onions tomato and pepper and i have more onions to season the chicken or to steam it i had some ginger or garlic and some fresh roast Mary and I have some basil leaves and extra papushito for garnishing and my all natural spice blend and I of course have my cassava and planting for my fufu of course salty taste we are getting started I just want to go ahead and cook my vegetables on the side and also go ahead and steam my chicken I'll be steaming this chicken with some blended ginger garlic onions and some fresh rosemary and i also add a tablespoon of my natural blend spice mix if you've not watched the video please do well to do so it is so so helpful and i also add two tablespoons of salt the good amount of salt should be added at this time and all that you have to do is to cover it and allow it to steam for about 10 minutes added about two stripes of basil leaves this is going to bring out that beautiful aroma of the chicken out in Ghana it is called coco mesa so it works perfectly with a chicken all that you have to do is cover it and allow it to steam now right <laughs> have it 10 minutes gone by and the aroma in the kitchen is just heavenly it is so so good it smells just like home and now it's time for me to introduce my tomato paste and i'm going to use about 145 grams of it it's about two tablespoons that is all you need you should also bear in mind that we have fresh tomatoes that will be going in so adding lots of tomato paste will not be such a great idea okay so go ahead and stir it make sure everything is well combined and yeah they look absolutely perfect and my vegetables have been well cooked be straining the water from the vegetables it has a lot of nutrients that i do not want to just throw away i'll just drain it and just so that i have the nutrients in the soup <laughs> that's all that we are going for right i'll cover it for about five minutes more and then blend all the vegetables and add it at this stage our soup is getting along so well it's just perfection right here now so right now the vegetables go in and it's not time for me to add the amount of water i want to add to the soup this depends on how thick or how runny you want your soup. I just want it in between because we'll be having this with some fufu. Okay. So right now, all that we need is 10 minutes left because you do not also want to overcook your vegetables. And everything should be perfect in 10 minutes time. Love to preserve my garnishing to the very, very last two minutes. <laughs> I'll add just about few paposhito and some basil leaves to even refreshing this soup up in the meantime i'm getting my fufu ready y'all <laughs> 
I'm not going to use any powder today. I just went for cassava and some plantains. I'll be using my fruit processor to make this happen. And trust me, if I had my way to pound this cassava and plantain, I would. I just don't have the mortar and everything here. So I'll be using my fruit processor. <laughs> I wanted to create the best memory possible. All right. So everything is now done and I'm going to boil the plantain and my cassava and yeah i'll use the food processor once it is done of the simplest method you could use to make your fufu no pounding no sweat <laughs> Twelve minutes of boiling my cassava and planting is ready all that i will do is to put in the fruit processor allow it to process everything at once okay don't do the plantain first and do the cassava just put everything at once and your fufu will be ready the only thing is after it has been mixed well you just want to allow it to rest for about five minutes just allow it to cool down before you start to put them into that beautiful ball of fufu that you prefer of course with the help of your asanka and tapoli <laughs> your earthy bowl is all that you need right now so good and so homely this was this is not only for holidays y'all any time of the day of the year that you want to feel at home please make this and you definitely deserve to sort out your cravings okay and because this was made by a machine you just also want to watch out for some lambs if any was created okay that is all family for about five minutes into molding this the more you mold it the more you know stretchy it becomes so it all depends on how you want your fufu to be made so 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 good and so nostalgic and just like that we are done and we are about to serve this amazing holiday banger <laughs> It was really, really good, family. I hope you really try it. And I trust you're going to love it so much. All that I will do is to have a quick check on my soup. Is it our fufu will be ready in no time, fam. Just look at that. You just have a look at that. I just hope you could perceive this beautiful aroma in my kitchen, y'all. <laughs> smells so amazing. What's left is to infuse the soup with this beautiful aroma from the papushito and the basil leaf. Trust me, it is just the best way to have your soup done. All that you would need is extra two minutes and you're good to go. What a soup! <laughs> But that is all family we are ready to go <laughs> we're serving it like the queens and kings that we are right so thank you so much family for watching right till the end i really really appreciate your time and i hope you enjoyed the process and you are going to try this recipe you will not regret it trust me fam thank you and please be sure to like this video if you enjoyed it and if this is your first time here hello 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 my name is Lovia from Lovey Statch. My main goal here is to cheer you up into making your own delicious meal right at the comfort of your home. I also love to share kitchen related motivational videos. So please come on board, subscribe, and join the family for amazing new recipes every week. Thank you so very much, family, for watching once again. And just know that you are so, so beautiful just the way you are. See you in my next one. Have a blast. Thank you. Bye.